Related rates problem, gigantic ice cream cone, take number four, hopefully the last take. Okay, so I will assume you have read the problem. Um, so we're pouring ice cream, liquid ice cream into a gigantic uh, ice cream cone at a rate of 0.75 pi cubic feet per minute. What does that mean? That will be dv over dt. It's the rate with respect to time in which the volume is increasing, so 0 0.75 pi. The question is determine the rate in which the ice cream level is rising. So the, the rate in which the ice cream level is rising, um, I'm going to make a var variable here h, which is just the height of essentially the ice cream inside the ice cream cone. Okay, so what we're interested in determining is dh dt. That is the big question mark here. Now, we know that the volume of a cone is determined by this and we're gonna have a little cone here essentially increasing inside the big cone as the ice cream gets poured into the cone. So I'm going to call this R, the radius, and that the height. Now it will be important to create a relationship between these two, and we could use similar triangles because there's a little triangle here and a big triangle over there, and they're similar. So we're going to do that to establish a relationship between R and H. So I can say that 10 is to 20 just like r is to h. Hopefully everyone can see that. So 10 is to 20, like r is to h. Great. And in this case, I want to isolate for r so that I can rewrite the volume equation in terms of v and h without an r. So let me cross multiply here. Well, first you can just get rid of the zeros there. Multiply both sides by h. So I get h over 2 equals r. Fantastic. Now I can take that and plug it in right here. So I will get v equals 1 third pi times h over 2 squared times the height. Now h squared is just h squared. 2 squared is 4. And I can simplify this as... Um, I can just rewrite it as pi h cubed over 12, right? h squared times h h cubed, 3 times 4, 12. Fantastic. Now, one interesting thing about this particular problem is that we don't know the height in which the ice cream is currently at when we want to determine the HDT. Hmm, how can we determine that? We only know that ice cream has been poured inside the cone for three minutes. So, well, we can very easily just multiply the three minutes by the 0.75 pi cubic feet to determine the volume. The volume at the time we're interested in for to find the rate. So the volume is just three times 0.75 pi so that's going to work out to be 2.25 pi, which is 9 pi over 4. Great. Now, I also want to know the height at that point. So how can I determine that? Well, I can just set this equal to that, because that's the volume, right? So I can say equals pi h cubed over 12. Look at that. Now I can just solve the, equa the, sorry, the equation for h. Now let me divide both sides by pi so they cancel out. And I'll multiply the, both sides by 12. So I get 9 times 12 over 4 equals h cubed. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 9 times 3, 27 it equals h cubed. Look at how convenient this is going to turn out. Cube root both sides, h is 3. Great. So we basically want to know 
DHDT, <laughs> I can't speak today, DHDT when H is equal to 3. Fantastic. Now, what do we do? I will take the volume function and I will derive both sides with respect to T. So we're going to get dv dt equals, now take the derivative of this, right? So that's just a constant, the pi over 12. So I get pi over 12. I bring down the 3 because that's the exponent. And I subtract 1 from the 3 to get 3h squared. And I need, of course, dh dt right there. Great, look at that. We're actually almost done. 3 over 12 is 1 over 4. So I have dv dt equals pi over 4 h squared dh dt. So now what do we have again? We have dv dt, we have h, and this is what we want to know. Our h is 3, dv dt is 0.75 pi, or 3 pi over 4, right? That's 0.75, just replacing it right there. So that's equal to 3, oh, whoops, I'm getting kind of lost with my own mess here. So I got pi over 4, 3 squared, dh, dt. And of course, all we want to do now is solve dh, dt. Great, so I'll, I guess I'll take this over there because it's a little bit less messy. Uh, maybe we'll bring it up here, actually. So we've got 3 pi over 4 equals, now 3 squared is 9, so I get 9 pi over 4 times dh dt. And this is going to work out rather nicely, I think. I can just multiply both sides of the equation by 4. Actually, let me just change colors because it's getting confusing. Multiply by 4, multiply by 4, so those 4s cancel out. Divide both sides by pi. So they cancel out as well. 3 equals 9 dh dt. Look at that. It can divide both sides by 9. 3 over 9 is a third. Look at that beauty. So dh dt is a third. And what does that mean? That means that the level, the, um, sorry, <laughs> the rate in which ice cream level is rising is one-third of a foot per minute. And be careful with the, the units. In this case, we're using feet per minute, so that's what we are going to have. That's it.